Welcome to Your Womb is Talking, Are You Listening? My intention for this video is giving you a different perspective on the premenstrual syndrome, also called PMS. My name is Christiana Meyer. I'm a feminine wisdom teacher, mentor for women, writer, and I'm holding trainings and courses all over the world, also online for women to remind them of their womb wisdom. So interestingly, PMS is something that is very little talked about in our society, but 75% of women experiencing PMS every month during their cycles. PMS can show up in form of abdominal cramps, it can be breast tenderness, certain kind of food cravings, mood swings. It can also go into uh, depressive feelings or like really lower back pain. Or for many women, it's, uh, it's, they're experiencing a lot of headache or even like really strong migraines. So this is really interesting because from a different perspective, our premenstrual phase in between our ovulation and the beginning of our menstruation is the phase of the wild woman inside of us. So our subconscious awareness becomes so increased that it really creates the best time for us to see the truth in our life and to access our deepest inner knowing and wisdom. So the medical approach to PMS is painkillers or maybe do exercises or change diets, take extra supplements. And this is, this is all great. But from my experience working with hundreds of women for the last couple of years, the key to a continuous health and healing in this is really the commitment to look deep into our women's lives and see how we live our lives, how we live our relationships, how we are in our work, but also what kind of beliefs or patterns are running through our system and what kind of possibilities we don't want to go to, we, where we may play small. PMS has a lot to do with not having access to our emotions. So it's really a lot about unresolved anger that's coming out and frustration that is coming out during that phase in, in many different forms. There have been ancient times where women really came together in moon lodges to process their cycles and their lives with each other but our western world doesn't give us this opportunity and our western lifestyle is is very much in a very masculine way and we all brought up of being nice girls right so being nice being pretty and maybe being sad but not being angry being like a very good girlfriend a good wife being like behaving properly in our work so that wild woman aspect inside of us feels so so suppressed but it wants to come out so usually in that moment and it's really where you can access the inherent wisdom of your inner knowing, of who you are as a woman, of all the answers that you're always looking for, really your magic. I want to share something about my own story. So of course, first of all, what I, whatever I'm talking about, you will only experience if you're not on any kind of hormonal birth control. So if you want to know more about that, watch my video, The Truth About the Birth Control Pill. So I share more about the whole a hormonal aspect and effect on our bodies. So a couple of years ago, I went off the birth control pill. I felt amazing, I felt great. Suddenly really connected to my feminine body, to my feelings, to my sexuality, I felt great. I got in, into a new relationship and probably from month two, I started to experience the most crucial PMS 
symptoms in form of abdominal pain and cramps just before my menstruation would come through. It was hell. So the only way I could navigate this was basically laying down, taking magnesium phosphoricum, what is a natural pain relief and I highly recommend this. But of course it's only just a short term solution. And just listen to my womb. And I could really feel how my womb is telling me to, you're giving too much, you're taking yourself back, you're not expressing your needs, you making him more important, so you cannot be there in this relationship. So it was really this wisdom that was coming through, but I didn't want it to listen. So I've been going through this relationship for quite a while and the PMS showed up each month to a strong or a little bit of less of an intensity. Until that moment we broke up. I moved into my own space and from the next month on my PMS was gone and never came back. This was such a strong experience that I really want every woman to know and not everyone needs to break up from their relationships but just see the connection of your womb speaking to you and how you live your life, your relationships, how you access and be able to express your emotions. There are three tips I have for you. So the first thing you need to know, if you have PMS premenstrual syndrome, you're not alone. So often it brings shame and it brings and shame brings a lot of aloneness. So know that there are millions of other women who are experiencing the same or similar thing than you every month. What helps a lot is to really connect to your feminine and the way you can do that is really find environments with women where you can really express yourself. Express yourself in words, in your emotions, through dance, like really an authentic space where you don't have to be anything else than your glorious self. Another tip is taking time and self-care. So taking time for yourself to really deeply listen. Every day, 30 minutes, especially around the time of your menstruation. If you can take the first day of your menstruation off, it will pay off for the rest of the month, trust me. And really seeing, because we as women have that tendency to constantly give and give and we very easily over give. And then we get tired and we, we burn out because we completely forget about ourselves. Another amazing tool that I love to work with and I love to initiate women is the Yoni Egg. So the Yoni Egg really helps you to bring awareness into your womb space and to start listening to the wisdom of your womb and to help working with the energy of your womb. So this profound place where we all come from is really supporting your own life and your own growth, your own health, your own happiness. So if you enjoy that video, um, please like it, share it with other women, leave me a comment if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And if you want to know more about my work, just jump over to my website christianaamea.com. Mm -hmm.